Diabetes affects the lives of many people. Here in Westmoreland County, we take a closer look into what companies and people are doing to get involved. When my first wife was pregnant with our first child, she became type one diabetic and really struggled with the disease. And she passed away when she was 33. My son passed away when he was 45 from complications, the kidney disease and, and diabetes. Our daughter Finley was diagnosed when she was two. We were up in the middle of the night probably every two hours checking her blood sugar through the night and she's a toddler. So we were trying not to wake her up. She's in diapers, she's peeing through her diapers because her blood sugar's high. So that was almost 10 years ago. And then two years ago, my middle daughter was diagnosed with it. Both forms, type one and type two, can be caused by different things. Type one is a genetic form of diabetes that's autoimmune. Type two says your pancreas is not making enough insulin, but you can manage a lot of type two with diet and exercise and things like that. Uh, you can't manage type one that way. Insulin is the only thing that can manage type 1. Both of my daughter's cases was a virus that triggered this autoimmune response, and so their own immunity attacked the beta cells in the pancreas that make insulin. So when their immunity kind of attacked those beta cells, they slowly start to die and not make any more insulin. Slowly we started to notice different symptoms like just super, super, super tired, nauseous. They lose weight and just ravenously hungry, really, really thirsty, peeing a lot. So their bodies don't produce insulin at all anymore. So they need it supplemented externally. So we give, they're both on insulin pumps and they both have continuous glucose monitors that help us kind of evaluate where they are and kind of the dosing that we need to do with the insulin. About 10 years ago, one of my friends who was involved with JDRF said, uh, why don't you channel that efforts into helping JDRF and some of the things that they are doing to help improve the lives of people with diabetes. When my husband and I moved to Greensburg 17 years ago, he started working for his family business and his dad owned the business at the time. And his dad always liked to choose one philanthropy to work with each year and he chose JDRF um, because he just saw the value in it. And we used to go to the JDRF walk, the Western PA walk at Pitt Greensburg every single year. It's a really, really fun event. They raise a ton of money. We fundraise for a couple months beforehand. Everybody comes out on a Saturday morning and there's activities for families and face painting and speeches and we walk a mile. We've really been involved with JDRF uh, one walk for nine years. In Western Pennsylvania, that's one of the major fundraisers. There's a walk in Greensburg and a walk in Pittsburgh, and we've been doing it for the last nine years. We've raised over $120,000. We've been fortunate enough to be the largest corporate fundraiser in the walk for the last four years. And for a company with 23 people, that's pretty uh, impressive. We get a lot of contributions from, from customers. We do a job sign program where the customers donate money to JDRF. We also do a 12 days of Christmas program where customers also donate money to JDRF. So we rely a, lo a lot on personal donations from friends and family, but we get our customers involved and that really helps a lot. JDRF uh, came into my husband's work like a week before my daughter was diagnosed and told everybody, you know, kind of how difficult it is and about the background of type one and how it starts and how, what it looks like in life. And like a week later, I called my husband from the doctor's office, from the pediatrician's office when she was diagnosed and said, she has type one diabetes. And he was like, oh my gosh, I just heard, you know, we drove to children's and that's when we met um, people from JDRF that came in when we were at the hospital and have given us multiple resources and, Lots of hope. We have seen over the course of the 10 years that we've been dealing with this, a direct result of JDRF and the lifestyle that we have is so much easier now relative to, to when we started. I mean, it's just night and day. We would have to give her in a, we'd have to drop, and I wasn't a nurse yet at the time, but drawing up a syringe, which neither my husband and I had done before, but we were trained to do, and we'd draw it up in the syringe, and the difference between like a quarter of a unit and say two units is minuscule, and that difference could kill a baby. I mean, it could kill a normal person. That's scary, and we don't have to do all that anymore, and that's thanks to JDRF and the research.
This has been Morgan Arlia reporting for PTTV.